hold a few strings if someone like you is in charge now. Quit your bitching. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. It was a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. God damn. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice together. Don't mind me. Head on in, over. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new Uber boss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey, someone mentioned me. Oh no, napkin. I'm taking your napkin, bitch. What's up? Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. <laughs> I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know. What did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Yeah, actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut- William. Of course, overboss. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. Hmm, that went surprisingly well. I'm just gonna yoink. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Gangs and women normally have me frisk visitors. But you get special. Yeah, I usually do wherever I go. Shut up, phone. Hi there. So, I guess this is um Brad Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. How do you fucking see? Oh, you got cats. Ain't no one sad about cold. Just don't see yourself. Nice place. Of 
so you guys are all done talking. Cool. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm over boss. You gonna be a problem I need to do. Slow down there, boss. We're just getting to know each other. Main boss. Packs out. This here's the power side of it. You might be over boss for now, but I'm the boss of the pack. Stay that way. As long as you don't go forgetting that, you're gonna be fine. Okay, first of all, I can't fucking hear a single fucking word you're saying over these two dogs humping each other to death. The pack. Oh, fitting. Smell like animals. Like anyone's broke up about the older. Just figured on his request. Well, different. Gage says you're the boss, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah. I'd run this place in a heartbeat. I have to. You don't have to be a terror. Believe me, the nag's black. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Coulter was weak. Why do you follow him at all? We're wondering that ourselves. Coulter was definitely overbought. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Really good. But that was a year ago. And Coulter himself wanted to take stock of what he achieved. You're a bunch of ungrateful children. Careful there, boss. We ain't ungrateful. Just fed up. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of cat we signed up for. Ain't none of us had it. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip of fun so long as they're drenched in blood. Things are going to help fast. But Gage was working on that. Got us together and he promised he'd find something to deal with Cold. So, what's the real story of the engagement culture? Hey, I know what I've heard. Story is that Gage got Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got to do didn't he? Maybe he likes people a lot. Maybe it lets him get the dirt without getting dirt on his hands. But the way saw, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised to get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. You've been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I just was done with the history lesson. Yeah, boy. Just trying to fill you in on what you're all so pissed off. Look, let's cut to the chase. You're gonna be right by the path. Okay, you've been talking to the other gang. Be a good guy and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. None for my guys. All right. That a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. You know what? I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding. The problem solver. Ooh. Ooh, my new gun. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here. Wherever able to lend a hand, drop by loyalty to the street. Yeah, I got you. Alright, I guess we should return to Cage after modifying the hell out of this weapon. Hmm. Oh, I can't take the gorilla back. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Huh? Funny enough, a guy in the Capital Wasteland told me that. You know, right before his brainwashed ghoul servant shot him in the face and perma killed him. It's an ugly fucking dog. Chase what you wanna catch. Wait, where were we? Yeah, I just talked to him. Blind motherfucker.
Ah, oh, finally good to see the place nice and sunny. No, it's an actual cafe. That last one died too fast. Sweep that patch. You see that crazy robot dressed like a model? I'm doing my best, okay? Hey, I know you think you're doing my job, and that nothing scares you. You got that tough guy. Just having a little fun, Ren. Keeping the kid on his toes. I don't go to any other works, and odds are you ain't coming back. Damn, Nuka. Don't say I didn't warn you. My bar and my bar. I thought about trying my hand at the job, but I'll see if I can do it. Yo, Lauren. You want to call it a play hard? No one. That's the radio way. So, what are you drinking? Well, I've been uh, blood under our skin. What have you got? I got whatever liquor this rowdy bunch can get their hands on. Help fine spirits get rot gut that'll put a fire in your belly. I what you do? I've got a few minutes to browse. Coming right up. I'll take that. Wait, 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 wait. 48 caps for a Nuka Cherry. fucking crazy ass woman okay so here's the plan even though we've got a bajillion things we can take a look at quest wise i'm thinking we're gonna focus on the main quest for now god damn these load screens are beginning to take forever man i've been getting the shakes bad I haven't slept in days you've been hitting the jet pretty hard with some of that new call sure we carry guns but not up. as well it's not fun no, unless you're up This is the best buzz I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us come up. Getting close to something good. I can feel it. Understanding the operators ain't hard. What the fuck is that guy doing? He can Deacon pretty hard. Oh, okay, of course he's up there. God fucking damn it. May as well explore this area while we're at it. Ooh, victory. Yeah, I'll take it. Hmm, nice elevator music. Whoa. We need a lot of you know i think we have to go back to the commonwealth to get that because that's where all my good junk is and polters turn on to do list shake down traders make fun of mason check on power armor count caps messages from gauge need to move Serious. All good. Huh. 
damn. Coulter not only had one. Oh, that's just creepy. Ugh. I uh, still need some gear. Oh, well, junk. You know what I mean. God, why is my brain so fucking scrambled? I swear I'm sober. That's the weird thing. returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. Huh. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge, divided up into sections, parts, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back, one at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. I thought the whole point of having minions was to get them to do the dirty work. Yeah, yeah, give it time. You still got to prove to them you're worth following, remember? So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. Heads up. What's up, boss? Okay, boss. All right. Let's go. The Grand Tour. So, immediately off the off the clock, we have all of these places that we can secure. So, let's see. Map, data. Let's see what we got here. Place we got is Galactic Zone. Kitty Kingdom. Um, you know what? Let's try our hand at Galactic Zone. There's some stuff I want to pick up there anyways. So, you're probably thinking to yourself, that's pretty cryptic. Well, I'll explain it a little bit. No ammo for that, unfortunately. Where did I put that? Oh, here we go. The Galactic Zone! Full of galactic bullshit, I don't know. And we've got dead people and robots. Tiana's log. on his log. Blah, 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 blah. So basically this says that we have to locate a place called Star Control. With a lot of dead robots. A Mr. Frothy. Oh! Oh! That's such a horrible name for a robot. Oh, that sounds so horrible. Oh, shit. Hey, 
So yeah, immediately you can tell the main gimmick of this place is the fact that it's crawling with robots! That shoot exploding little quantum... I, I don't know what those are called, honestly. Next time, I gotta hack one of those. This thing would definitely be hella useful. And while we're at it... We have to discover. Okay, hold on. World is proud to announce the grand reopening of our world of refreshment ride. Now featuring delicious Nuka Cola Quantum. Go, 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 go. <coughs> oh, my crappy lungs. <sighs> oh, shit. That was like an unnecessary amount of iBots. Where, Where are these things coming from? Okay, I don't see any more coming at us. Actually, better yet, maybe we should go this way. Go the way the game wants us to go for a change. No star cores detected. It is required to initialize emergency operations mode. Boot sequence aborted. Okay. Guess we got a. F oh, hey, look, he left one for us. Just to get, get out of my fucking. Time to reboot the mainframe. Initialize emergency operations mode. Use systems log. So, from what I understand, basically, this is an. In Star Control is basically an advanced AI that controls all the robots in the park. Like, I'd actually recommend pausing some of this and reading it. It's actually pretty cool. log get survivors incoming turn on the defensive mode handle the reboot okay so from i guess from what happened is that they took too many star cores off of this thing and basically all the robots went rogue because of it identify yourself there's also a robot above us apparently oh we can go up here Come on, go down. What? Uh. 
God damn, 260 XP just for that? Ooh. Oh, wait, we got a star core in here. Nice. And a mini nuke. God damn, and it has we got a lot of good stuff in here. Oh my god. Yes. Nine hundred and fifty tickets. God damn. Manager's turn. Communication. Okay. So, guys, how is this Atomic Heart gameplay looking for you? You hear me coming. Now I have. Oh, I'm over a cumber, that's right. I think I'm supposed to go in here. vault Among the Stars. Yeah, sure. Star oh, we have to find Star Cores in here, okay. Yes, Mr. Frothy. Oh, this will be fun. Join us Whoa. On into the future, where humanity has set out on a oh, seeking adventure among the stars. Arcturus Five. Oh, fuck! I can't- okay, I couldn't see my own health, because the game went er to -der. The game crashed. The- the game just fucking crashed. I- I can't tell you why, but the game just randomly crashed on itself. What the fuck? The game- uh, I survived. That game was trying to kill me, okay? Let me, let me just say that. Like, my health bar randomly fucking vanished. I popped a stim pack, got super fucking lucky, and when I was about to kill the last Protectron, the game threw a baby fit and was like, No, you were supposed to die! You were supposed to be killed right there! You were supposed to look dumb! No! And then just, the game just shat itself. At least that's how it seems.